Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 4. Um, I think we're trying to get Valentine's perk, right? I might just console command the start of his, like, personal quest. Because it's not happening. And I'm getting frustrated. I'm running out of patience. We have left to do for the railroad because Deacon's already Tom needs you he keeps bugging me about it okay <laughs> he just comes running up uh... ah it's our newest agent yup Augusta safe house was destroyed by the Institute it's as I feared three safe houses gone hard to imagine I have nothing further for you at the moment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, Pam. Confirmed. Agent Bullseye has arrived. I have a mission for you. Without increasing efficiency of synth traffic flow, odds of entire organization being compromised increase daily. Solution. A new distribution center needs to be established. The distribution center? What's that? The railroad organization calls oh. distribution centers safe houses. Mission details commencing. Pacify the target location. Fortify position to protect current and... Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me, coastal cottage. Details. So my sensor, I call her Mila, needs to be up high, real high. Chuck that stuff if you need to. Like you know who couldn't spook. Tell me where to put Mila then. I got the perfect spot. <laughs> Set Mila up Excuse and me. let the juicy data pour in. Okay. Oh. You know what? This. Wait, will he have the EP? No, he will not. We gotta go somewhere else. Um, where was Andrew Station again? Oh my god. It's a metro station, so let's just start... Yeah, we're gonna console command his quest into starting. Cause I am gonna waste all of these sweet, sweet railroad missions on him when they would be more efficient with the Oh Lord. Um And I gotta Google the command. Okay, I guess I don't need him as a target. MS O seven C zero.
You know, there is this chunk of Nick Valentine history I've been hoping to put a bow on for a while now. I could use a hand if you're willing to take a crack at it. Yes, absolutely. Sure thing. What's the case? Well, this one's straight out of the archives. Once upon a time in the land of Boston, there lived a king of organized crime, Eddie Winter. He was a bad man. He did a lot of bad things. Hurt a lot of innocent people. But he knew the end was coming. So he sealed himself inside a personal shelter located underneath the sub shop he used as a headquarters. An evil king in a sub shop. Oh, I didn't mean yeah, to be sassy. I've heard the anyway, if you're done being a wise ass, <sighs> the story gets even more twisted. The arrogant bastard wanted to cheat death, live forever, so he could come out of that shelter someday into this brave new world. Sound familiar? Only Eddie didn't want to be a frozen banana. No cryo sleep for him, no. He invested his money in some sick, crazy radiation experiment. You don't mean to tell me he used that radiation to... That's right. Eddie Winter went and turned himself into a ghoul. 200 years before it was fashionable. Hell, he was probably the first one. And I'm convinced that he's still locked inside that shelter. Safe and sound. Ready to come out and begin his evil reign all over again. I'm gonna find him and kill him. So that never happens. You in? Absolutely. But let's... I, I don't get it, Nick. Why kill Eddie Winter, even if he is still alive? This sounds like some kind of vendetta. I've got memories. My girl. They're not really my memories, I know that. They're Nick's. But the girl, she was real. She was beautiful and innocent. And Winter killed her. Now he's got to pay the price. I'm fine with that. So, knowing that, are you in? Yes. All right, Nick. Let's get the bad guy. Good. Now. I know where Winter's vault is, but the door is sealed with a complex numerical code. Lucky for us, Winter's arrogance knew no bounds. Back in the day, he recorded ten holotapes, incriminating different criminal associates. On each one, he hit a single number. We find all of those holotapes, we get all the numbers. We get all the numbers, we get the code. And then we get Winter. I've been putting together a file on this one for a while now. There's a pair of holotapes in here worth listening to, uh, including one of Winters. I managed to snatch from the Cambridge Police Evidence Lockup before getting swarmed by ferals. Welcome My home. gut tells me the Boston Police Evidence Terminals are the key to cracking I this one. already had that one. Probably worth paying a visit to any of the departments you might have stumbled across. Detective Valentine, Captain Widmark here. I'd just like to reiterate how excited we here at the Boston Police Department are that you'll be joining our investigation. Commissioner Turner has already regaled me with the tales of your adventures in Chicago. As you know, Edward L. Eddie Winter has been a pox on this beautiful city for nearly two decades. Extortion, murder, racketeering, kidnapping, name a crime he's committed. The epitome of a cold-blooded, brilliant, slippery crime boss. Fortunately for us, over the years, Winter has also developed that most self-destructive of character traits, uh, supreme arrogance. Starting a little over a year ago, Winter stopped coding his correspondences and began communicating entirely via unencrypted holotape. Each one addressed the subject in question and very clearly signed off by Winter himself. He's obviously mocking the authorities. He knows we're monitoring his communications. He doesn't care. Winter thinks he's untouchable. He's wrong. This is when the game changes. Those holotapes are the key to building a case against Eddie Winter. And they're what this task force will focus on. His crimes, his words. To 
total self-incrimination. Get those holotapes, and we get with them. Message to Johnny Montrano. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. You fat, lazy piece of shit. <laughs> I knew. I knew this arrangement was too good to be true. Let's join forces with the North End, huh? Bury the hatchet? Work mutually against a common enemy? Well, you put the nail in that coffin, huh, boyo? What did you have to do, Johnny? Huh? What was your job? Sit in your car, on the corner. Keep your eyes open. If you see a uniform, you get out. Walk down the street, knock on the door, and let the fellas know there's trouble coming. Easy as pie, right? I could have got a nine-year-old from the projects to do it, but no. In the interest of Irish-Italian relations, <laughs> I give the job to you. So what happens? Nothing. Nothing happens. You sit on your fat ass dribbling cannoli cream onto your third chin. You watch. You watch the uniform blow months of planning. All in two minutes. Congratulations, Johnny. You got me. You and your pal sure put the screws to old Eddie Winter. You should tell this funny story to your little girl when you tuck her in at night. In that corner bedroom, upstairs, pink wallpaper, little house on Prince Street. <laughs> Eddie Winter, signing off. All right. <clears throat> to get it from a specific place. Well, anyways, all right. I'm I already got that one out of there. Let's go see what this is. Oh, it's under his bunkers under here. Is that one? Oh no. Please. Is someone present? Oh. Oh boy. Yeah. Mm. By order of the Institute, you must be destroyed. Punch ya. Toss anything you can't haul my way. Okay. No, fuck off. Yeah, that's right, no fight today, Jesus. Okay, where are some of these? Say, screw that. 
<sighs> I mean, come on. One bullet halfway across town, and you blew Ron Trevio's head clean off. You, sir, are an artist. Are all the assassins from Russia as good as you? I seriously doubt it. But listen, your secret's safe with me. Eddie Winter, B signing off. D here. Oh, oh. Fuck up. Jesus. Fucking many of you. Ridiculous. Oh, you're legendary. Oh. That was a lot of people to fight at once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. annoying <sighs> I gotta clear this again.
Ah, uh, you get him, Nick. District. Okay. Let's get the no, out of here. This. Hell yeah. Nice. We're gonna sell that fat man. Pretty good caps. Who's there? I'm fucking seeing things. Okay, um, I don't think I have that much junk, so let's sell some stuff, like the fat man. Sweet hit boy. Cleo. Don't worry, I only test a job. I'll take a look, yeah. sure. A gun for a- uh -huh. Let's see what you got. Cash or trade. Uh -huh. Let's get started. What put me over? Oh, I have a lucky missile launcher. Right. Sixty-eight. 
place to stay? You don't have. Hey, if you hit upon something, don't bother. Let's see what you have. Cash or trade? Let's get started. Hmm. Did Cleo have some armor? Cleo. I hope you're buying. I've got a few minutes to browse. Each weapon tested. Yeah. We're just gonna save real quick. Every weapon you see here could be the different. Sure. Let's take a look. Let's see if that uh, chess piece is really worth it. Oops. Not that one. No, not about 111. Oh, was that thing like... Oh, that's super heavy. Fuck. Alright, let's go... Take enough brand damage for this to make sense. There, let's try that. Okay, let's try that. Yeah. Okay, back. What does my chest piece look like? I can't see. Well, whatever. this person go and who are they oh were they diamond city security or wait am i even kind of by diamond city 
Who are you? Yeah, you are. Okay. Just checking. Ah, <laughs> Nick, where are you going? This this one? No. Cool, cool. There we go. I didn't need the cigarettes, whatever. Something out there. Yeah, it's roaches. Lots of roaches. Oh, this one's legendary. Fire rate 36. Really? Hey, what's up? Message to Rodrigo Palama. Okay, my friend. I thought about it, and I've reached a decision on the Fallon's job. Your cut is exactly what you deserve. Zero dollars. Zilch. You heard me right. You get nothing. Yes, you cracked the safe. And yes, we got the diamonds. But you also tripped the alarm. Mackie got pinned, and that's entirely your fault. Now, when he gets out, Mackie's gonna want your head on a platter. I'm gonna give him your share instead. I see you're getting off easy. Eddie Winter, signing off. Okay. I don't want to, thank you. Oh. No, daddy -o. Whatever that is. Oh. Oh, boy. to 
Costa Conley. Nice piece you did on the monorail construction project. Heaven's Highway, Devil's Doing, <laughs> cute. Yes. Well, I think you give organized crime too much credit. You did get one thing right, though. Safety Inspector Alice Lansky was killed. They'll never find us, because there's nothing left. It's like he just kicked it. That's funny. Cut it out. do all this. Bad <laughs> <of> action points. <laughs> Find me here. Oh, that's right. You can't use. Really well, I guess we're doing this, huh?
Didn't I get her fist? Oh! Oh, it's a piece of power armor. Okay. Alright, well, yeah. Oh, there's an Assaultron in here that can stealth, I think. Look, Tessa, the orders come down straight from Captain West. Clint has the command here, and that's just how it is. If you keep running your mouth off, he's gonna make an example of you to show that he's still in charge. And why do you think he picked you to deal with those scorps down at Super Duper Mart? Now, maybe you got away with that shit back when you were running with Raiders. The gunners stick to the chain of command. Besides, we wouldn't have been able to take Quincy without him, and you wouldn't have that sweet power armor. So get over it. Bake her out. Oh. Hang on, getting a phone call. <laughs> can I take this holotape? Yes, I can and I will. Did I do that? Nope, just kidding. Not even anything in here. Rude. Who locks a first aid kit? My God. Yes. Now, oh, what's this? Hey, come look at this. Which one did I just get? Three? Message to Robert Koopa. Koopa. Bobby, we discussed this. You hooking up with your stepsister is your own friggin' business. But you talk in your sleep. 
But you talk in your sleep. Look, maybe you babble about baseball or sing show tunes. Or could be you chat about those three bodies Colin O'Malley dumped in the sand trap of Arlington Greens. You want to take that chance? I know I don't. Sorry, Robert. The girl's got to go. Eddie Winter, signing off. Okay. We gotta go get rid of some stuff. Oh my god. Get out of the way. God, at this point, I might really need that perk that <laughs> walking over encumbered costs 50% less action points. Trash can Carla just looking at Marcy Long's dead body. There we go. Okay. Wait, let's cook up some more mutant hound chops. No! Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Oh god, 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 oh god. Yep, fuck. <laughs> you sons of bitches. Good. Which way am I going? This way.
Where, 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 where? I heard a yell why. Right there. Is this? I've had enough of this. It was way too long. I hate Meyer Lurks. Jesus. Alright, what is this? We're here. Let's just fucking look at it. the point What the fuck am I stuck on? Oh, uh, a death claw? Where? Where, 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 where? Well, I'd really prefer if you didn't. You let me up here. I'm sliding. Nah. I'm just gonna pretend like I didn't hear the growl and see the screen shake. Okay. Looks 
kind of already discovered your stuff. Uh, and the thing is down there. Apparently. Tape four. Message to Claire Pazinski. Dinner tonight. Me, you, and Arthur Black. Reservations are for seven at the Cornerstone Grill. Don't worry. I'll make sure Arthur's on his best behavior. No stabbing the waiter for a fucked up drink on a... Like what happened in Charlestown. <laughs> Even though the prick deserved it. You get anything good? What the fuck is this? Who are you? Oh! <laughs> no one did anything! No, no thank you. Oh boy, oh boy. We got super mutants. Because it's the Coast Guard Pier right here. I see. I see what's going on. They're too far away. Who else? Let's get closer then.
But I think I'm just gonna do it. controller, I don't know. Incredibly rude of you. Exactly. 
Message to Buster Conley. <laughs> Message to Claire Pazinski. Wait a minute. Dinner tonight. Me. Message to Claire Pazinski. Time to start thinking about a vacation. Oh. Another six weeks in Ireland. I see. Here. Okay. Dublin, Galway Bay, Waterford. Maybe a week in that little bed and breakfast and kill Kenny. And don't worry, we don't have to take my cousin Stephen with us. <sighs> Let him get out of the country on his own. I told him to threaten that cop, not blast him in the face with a shotgun. He can rot in that abandoned fishery down in Union Wharf for all I care. Love you. Oh. -ho. Eddie Winter signing off. I see. Oh. Yep. Uh, damn is right. Meat bags. Another call from my mom. Oh my goodness, so many interruptions. brothers you coming down are you crashing yep no where Full to the brim of ghouls, or with ghouls. Oh, it's the telephone pole. Don't shoot my friends down this time.
Help me, bro. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. Give me a minute to refill my action points. Okay, okay, okay. 34 fucking revs. What? So badly. Oh God! Where'd the fucking sentry bot come from? Saltron, what the fuck? Oh my god! Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ almighty! I didn't need the targeting card. Yeah. Where am I going? Jesus. Shooting at. Oh. Rust Devils. I got taking too long. God, what did I do to deserve this? This was fucking ridiculous. Are there any bodies? Any bodies in here? Keeps exploding. My god, what an absolute shit show. Tape five, let's go. <sighs> you too. Message to Sal Bosconi. And six. You and I clearly need to talk. 
about Danvers, about the Montrano mess, about everything. I think we'd both agree that our attempts to improve North-South relations have been a complete failure. Look, I take full responsibility for the behavior of my guys. I expect you to do the same for that moron Montrano. But what happened in Danvers? I hardly know what to say. Your people turned that theater into a slaughterhouse. Those people are dead on your orders, not mine. And for no conceivable reason I can see. So let's meet. Just the two of us. Talk it all out. You name the time and place. Eddie Winter, sign it Oh! My God. I just want to get this done. Uh, this is nuts. Charlotte Wen. My dear Miss Wen, I hope you're well. After our little joint venture this past May, you should be. If memory serves correctly, that pallet of buff out earned you a small fortune, and Wu Li eight years in the state correctional facility. So I got to thinking, why not do it again? We both love the same things. Money and destroying people who get in our way. <laughs> Together we'll outmaneuver them all. Boston will be ours for the taking. Let them play checkers. We'll play chess. Eddie Winter, signing off. I guess I forgot to grab the tape roll that was here. Or, aha! Tape two. Message to Robert Koopa. Koopa! You did good, Bobby. The wife and girl won't be saying anything. <laughs> no worries. Hell. Once those fat life insurance checks start rolling in, <laughs> Mrs. Montrano will wish a fat slob of a husband had eaten that bullet five years ago. As for what happens next, up to you. Beach, 
sub shop, car yard. Doesn't matter where he ends up, I don't give a shit. I just want him in the ground. So, long as Johnny Sr. never finds out what happened to his little meatball, <laughs> we're set. Eddie Winter, signing off. Here we go. Hey. I'm listening. So, you got something for me? Mm -hmm. Maybe a pocket full of tapes belonging to an old ghoul? Yep. Finally got them all. Here. No fooling. Wow. That's some real solid detective work. They're older than dirt, but they've got Eddie's paw prints all over them. These are the real deal. And they've still got the code pieces in them. Let me run them through the old processor. Got it. One, nine, five, three, seven, two, eight, four, zero, six. That old thug's holed up in Andrew's station. Now, let's go bring down Eddie Winter. not keep Eddie waiting. Finally time for Eddie Winter to get his due. Passing through cars is prohibited. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll follow you. You know where you're going. <sighs> Can't wait to see the look on what's left of Eddie's face. God. Okay, sorry about this one, guys. Um, but I have done too much to start over. <laughs> Let's not keep Eddie waiting. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. I don't know how many people actually watch these videos. Like, I get a few hits per, but I don't know if they watch them, like, all the way, or... Oh. Crocker went amateur butcher on poor Earl. Moments like this, I'm glad I'm not made of meat. Why the fuck would you start talking about that all of a sudden? Go on. I never would have made it this far without you. Okay. Am I am I doing this? Sure. One nine five three seven two eight four zero six. The fuck? Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck am I? Who the fuck are you? I'm Eddie Winter, and you're in my bunker. Just how the fuck did you get? No. No way. Not after all this time. Don't tell me you actually cracked my code. In the holotapes? Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> well, hey, it's only been what? 200 years? <laughs> well, look, I'm not sure what you thought you'd find. Gold, jewels, the secrets of the universe. But you get me, one guy, a ghoul, I guess you'd call me. Just living, surviving, and what I got, you can't have. Yeah, that we'll code? see about that. <laughs> it was a joke. I just wanted to prove how dumb those feds were. Turns out, pretty dumb. So take your asses someplace else. I'm not going anywhere until I get what I came for. Yeah? And what's that? And who are you, huh? You look kind of familiar. But what are you, some kind of robot? Is that what it's like out there now? A world of robot overlords? <laughs> Remember me? Valentine? The cop? Is that who you're supposed to be? Sorry, pal, but you ain't Nick Valentine. You're just some kind Get of... Get fucked. That's so machine. rude. Be nice to him. My fiance, Jennifer Lance. There's some crimes even you can't get away with, Winter. Your fiance? You mean Valentine's fiance. Pretty girl. Shame what happened to her. But hey, you? Or, you know, the real Valentine? He should have backed off when he had the chance. But what gives, Robot Man? Why do you even care? Some girl gets whacked 200 years ago, and you come into my home acting like a hot guy? Christ, look at you. You're not even alive. Shut the then fuck I up! I guess I'm in good company. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm done here. There's one more thing I've got to do. Wouldn't mind the company if you wanted to tag along. Sure. Good to know I've got someone I can rely on watching my back. Hang on, let's finish up in here and then we can go. Crazy shit's really working. If 
eventually, this war will blow over. And when it does, I'm going to walk out onto Boston and pick up where I left off. I'm going to own the future. I'm assuming you'll be dead by then, of course. <laughs> but let's not dwell on the negative. So look, you come to the sub shop tomorrow night. You and I will go into the shelter together. Seal it up and wait for the big kaboom. Just, uh, you might want to prepare yourself a little. Mentally and such. Why don't you let her become a ghoul little... then? We can live together yeah, no. forever. But love is only skin deep, right? Mm-hmm. This is it. In this spot, 200 years ago, one of Eddie's boys put a bullet in Jenny Land's back. Now Eddie's as dead as Jenny and Nick. Oh, you're okay, buddy. I, I'm at a loss. All I know is that without you, Eddie'd still be at large. I'm glad I could help. It seems like it meant a lot to you. You don't know the half of it. Winter was it. The only reminder left. Okay. Last okay. proof outside of some long, long. Does it really matter? Winter, Jenny, Valentine, they're gone. We're here. We get to make the world what we want. Uh, you're right. Because uh -huh. I was Nick Valentine. Mm -hmm. I remember getting the call to head to some lab. And the next thing I know, I'm in a trash heap. My family, my home, my entire life, gone. Everything I ever was belonged to Nick. Right. But being out here with you, what I... What I found mm -hmm. was about justice. About doing... Uh -huh. And even if that's the all... And none of it would have ever happened. You don't have to. You don't have to, Nick. <laughs> well, come on, then. There we yeah, go. That is, if you're, if you're still interested in traveling. Let's go. Of course. Let's do it. I'm glad to hear. Come on. For now. Now we're going to go pick up Deacon. Oh my god. So much shit needs to be done before I can get dance. All right. Um, oh, I'm carrying too much. Well, anyways, it's been way too long. I interrupted a shit ton of time. Sorry about that. See you in the next one. Bye.